for this art lesson, we are going to play with clay. Our clay lesson is going to span over two parts. In the first part, we are going to sculpture. And in the second part, we are going to paint our sculpture. We will need salt clay, googly eyes, and a toothpick. In the lesson, we will be discussing three-dimensional geometric shapes, as well as proportion. Introducing learners to the visual arts topic. Let's have a look at the pictures on this page. Can you identify the animals? Yes, there are dogs. Today's theme is pets. And I thought that we would sculpture our furry little friend. To start our sculpture, we are going to divide the clay into six spheres. These are classified as three-dimensional shapes because they've got height, width, and depth. In other words, they are not a flat shape. They can be viewed from either side. Let's start with our largest shape. We are going to roll the shape until it forms an ellipsoid. Place it onto your tray and level the top. Next, we're going to start with the four smaller shapes. Roll them into cylinders or clay snakes. Make sure all of them are the same length. The first two are going to form the front paws of our dog. Slightly bend the lower part up and flatten it. Place it in front. Do the same with the second cylinder. Place it next to the first leg. To sculpture the back paws, also lift and flatten the bottom part of the clay. Next, use your thumb and your forefinger and flatten the top part of the leg. Attach to the side of the dog's body. Do the same with the last cylinder. Attach to the side of your dog's body. Check the proportion of your dog's head against the body. If it's too small, just add more clay. Next, use three fingers and pinch the front to form the snap. Attach on the body. Use some of the leftover clay to create a tail. Create a tail by rolling a clay snake. Attach the tail at the back of the body. Again, use some of the leftover clay to form ears for your dog. You can decide on the shape and type of ear. Play around to find a shape that you like. Attach the ears on either side of the head. Create a nose by taking a small bit of clay and forming it into a triangle. Measure and size as you go along. Attach the nose on the dog's face.
create two small eye sockets and place on the face. Use your two googly eyes, place one in each socket. We are going to remove the googly eyes and wait for our sculpture to dry. Once it is dried and painted, we are going to repaste it in place. Use your toothpick or matchstick to create toes. Press in the clay. Next, we're going to create a collar for our pet. Use some leftover clay and roll a clay snake. Wrap the collar around the doggy's neck. Use a small bit to create a tag. Carefully remove the googly eyes. Remember to keep them close. Don't lose them. Now that our sculpture is finished, we're going to place it to one side so the clay can dry. For the second part of our clay project, you are going to need tempera paint, glue, your sculpture, paint brushes, your googly eyes, and your toothpick. Start by selecting the coat color. A soft round tip brush works the best. If one is not available, use a small hog hair brush and then use the toothpick to apply paint on the smaller areas. Dip the paintbrush in the paint and paint your sculpture. Do not worry about painting the sculpture underneath. Once your coat color is done, select the color that you would like to paint the color. I selected blue and yellow. Use the black for the finer details. Clean the brush. Make sure that you dry the brush properly. If the paint is too watery, it will not paint over the salt dough. Once the paint is dry, Use the white arts and crafts glue to paste the eyes. Squirt a little bit of glue onto the palette. Use the toothpick or matchstick to pick up the glue. Apply the glue to the eye sockets. Carefully pick up your googly eyes and paste them into place. Leave to dry. I hope you had fun sculpturing your clay pit.